Superb, ladies and gents. Hope we're doing well. Welcome to Three Minute Thursdays. Now, this is move number three from the series. The first two look like this. One, two, third one, three. Now, this is a super difficult move, so I'm gonna jump straight into it and start breaking it down for you. I'm gonna do it from this position first. Okay, so you can see it from this side. Okay, and now you're gonna see it from this side. Now, let's put the tin down and let's work on this bottle first, okay? Now this move is a double spin forwards, a flick to pour. I have done a video on my three minute Thursdays for that already and it's gonna be up there somewhere as soon as I figure it out. And what it is, you're gonna hold it in a beer grab, you're flicking as if you're gonna to go to a pour, but in this instance, you're gonna flick, catch in the tennis grab and bring the bottle down. So you're gonna go up, down, all right? Because remember, the other tin, the tin is in your left hand, or if you've got the other one, right hand and left hand, it's the other way around. But forwards, down, okay? That is it. Tin is a double spin behind the head. Now, people struggle with behind the head moves because you're throwing hard metal glass objects up near your face, which is unnatural. So what you need to start doing first of all is just throwing it super gently like this, okay? Or even from the other hand so you can get used to it. Then you wanna do one spin and then you wanna figure out two spins. Okay, but you need to get good at that move before you can start incorporating both of these together. Again, start with a plastic bottle if you're gonna find that easy. Don't go straight to glass because these are dangerous moves. But when you start perfecting those two moves, one, two, then one, two, and then together. If you want, you can do one spin with a bottle and a double spin with a tin. What that means is that you can focus on the catch with the bottle first and then the tin. So my focus goes to the bottle and then to the tin. And you'll notice that I'm catching the bottle first and then the tin, which is fine. You can do that, but if you want to get to the advanced stage, then you do a double spin with the bottle, double spin with the tin, okay? So you're going to come up and catch it in this position, okay? And that is the beginning of the next move. Now, I haven't said this in the previous two videos, but how you start the move and how you end each move is super important because when you're performing a sequence or you're performing a routine, the end of one move is the beginning of the next move. Let me say that again. The end of one move is the beginning of the next move. So, if you look at the sequence we've done so far, we've gone like this over our shoulder. Okay, I've caught this one in the tennis grab, this one in the tennis grab, and then I haven't changed the position or anything else. I've just gone straight to the next move. This one in the beer grab, this one's in the tennis grab, and then again, straight to the next move. Double, double and I'm here. And you'll see how this becomes so much more apparent on the next move, on next week's video. Um, you can go back and check the routine and you'll see what I'm talking about instantly. But the next move starts in this position, okay? So it's very important that you make sure that you're catching everything correctly, all right? So if you've got any questions about it, whack it in the comments box below. As I said previously, other people have probably got the same questions as you, but these are hard moves. Practice them hard, practice them smart, and good luck. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell for notifications because then you'll be notified first when the next video comes out. Until next time, I'll see you then.